I think the role of the artist is to present something new and different. If you were just, just to read the news every day, you'd see nothing but doom. And I think that what I try and present is an alternate reality where people are so creative. And I use the artist studio as a metaphor for all that human creativity. If you look around you, every single thing that's not nature has been made by man or woman. And it's pretty astounding, really, how diverse, how creative and innovative and resourceful we are. I really just choose artists that I like their work or I've been inspired by their work over time. I'm constantly looking at art books and I know who my favorite artists are, who I've been inspired by. And I usually want to discover where that came from. It's very different looking at a painting or a sculpture in a museum and looking at a painting or a sculpture in the studio where it was created. Keith Haring is the person who's got me to start painting in the first place. Just by complete luck, I met him on a subway in New York. And all I said to him was, your job looks more fun than mine. And he said, well, can you paint? I said, no. He said, can you draw? And I said, yes, I love drawing. I draw every day. And he said, well, that's all I'm doing, so pick up some chalk and help me. He was convinced that I was an artist. And so he kept telling me, you're an artist and you need to do a painting, because once you do a painting, one painting, you'll never stop. So. That got me to start, and I made a painting, and he was right. I've made a painting every day since then, or be, I, let's say I've painted every day. My paintings take a long time, but I've painted every day since then. This painting of Keith Haring's studio is exactly the time when I met him. And so those two green chairs, for me, symbolize our conversations together. And Basquiat, Basquiat was another one, so shortly after starting to paint, I was very lucky and was immediately represented by a really good gallery in London, a uh, gallerist called Robert Fraser. And he put me in a show with Jean-Michel, and so I met him, of course, and we had, again, we had great conversations about his artistic process. And so that kind of stimulates the paintings that I'm doing. I'm constantly thinking about the ideas that he told me of what he was doing, and I'm trying to get those into the painting. Also, I was able to call all of the people who've been to his studio during lockdown when I couldn't go out and research. And some people remembered the music that was playing, some people remember what they saw on TV, some people remember the books he was reading, uh, some people remember all the collections of African art that he had. All of that comes into my painting, and yeah, it was, that's how I did it. I didn't know really how to approach the studio, and I had made several little paintings of it beforehand. And then in the last one, I realized that in one of the photographs of Kusama posing, probably for a gallery show still, in the background, in completely blurred was all the elements of the studio that I really wanted to paint. And so I was able to just go to each of the different exhibitions that she had in the early 60s and look at the different artworks that were very blurred in the background and make a sort of maquette uh, of the studio. And then suddenly, magically, it all just looked so extraordinary and different and unusual as a, as a studio and I was, I'm very happy about it and I can't wait for people to see it. I don't really try to adapt my style, but you can imagine when I've been to the place where they were working and I've looked at all the paintings that they did at that time there, I'm imbued with the kind of inspiration from that person. And so I then let that inform me of how to finish the rest of the painting. I'm not sure whether I'm a landscape painter, I'm not sure whether I'm an interior painter, if I'm painting still lives, because these are really still lives that the artist has created themselves. But I think at the end of the day, I'm painting a portrait of their thoughts process at a moment in time, capturing places that, that would otherwise be lost to history and bringing them to life and showing people what was going on there.